Hello everybody, and we are here for another monthly module. And this month, uh, since it's October, it's spooky, scary Ooh. season. Yeah. Uh, so we're playing a, a spooky, scary, horror-themed role-playing game that uh, Tets is running for us, so I'll let him take over and explain the game and all that good stuff. All right, well... So the game we're playing is Don't Rest Your Head. Um, I know I've mentioned it a few times in passing in previous episodes, yep. but um, say what? I said, yeah, I think we, we had a topic about it at one point. I couldn't remember. I only remember Ten Candles, which we almost played today, except yeah. for the fact that the like core part of the game you can't really do online, <laughs> which is candles <laughs> and darkness. <laughs> so I can turn my light off in my room. Yeah. <laughs> Put a little camera, uh, webcam on somebody's candles or something to see as they go out. Exactly. But, uh, no, so instead I decided to go with, uh, or suggest at least, um, my second favorite horror game, Don't Rest Your Head. Um, Don't Rest Your Head is interesting in that it, it can, so it's horror, but it can also very much go the, um, comical kind of deconstructing of the genre as much as anything else because most of the game takes place in the mad city aka the city of dreams um as, you know i know i talk a lot about lovecraft and he has a lot of his monsters or like the dream realm monsters and stuff this kind of game kind of plays off of that so essentially um you guys are playing insomniacs um who have been awake for way too long at this point um and here in a minute we're going to kind of go over um in the character creation process, uh, why you've been awake for so long and, and everything, but you also have powers that you've gained um, it, it along, along the lines of um, dream logic, right? Like, in dreams, sometimes you can throw fireballs or whatever. This is That's kind of what this is um, going to be playing off of. Um, and the your descent into the Mad City and what happens to you there that's pretty much the uh baseline of the game <laughs> so um i don't really have anything else to add i don't know if anybody else does before <laughs> we get into character creation but... oh let's go okay cool let's do it so the character sheets um i haven't really so as you guys can see i have like the character sheets sort of in the middle of the roll 20 um thing this is more like just the baseline stats as opposed to the full sheet but the full sheet kind of asks a few questions. Um, so, obviously, the first question for everybody, what's your name? Character names. Alex Patterson. My name is Jürgen Schuler. Jürgen Schumer? Schuler. S-C-H-U-L-E-R. Like that? Uh, yep. Oh, J U R, but J U R. Okay. It's German, whatever. <laughs> well, y you know how those names go. I'm sure J E R is also appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, the next series of questions are going to kind of um, influence your uh, character's RPs mostly. Um, so the first, the next question is: I am blank. This can be just a general statement of your character. It can be like his job. It can be some core part of him. Something he does as a hobby. Whatever. Hmm. You got yours, Mel? No. Uh, I did not I'll, see that question. I'll, I'll go ahead then. We I, can also dodge the question yeah. if you want to, Mel. It's just I, kind of an extra one. <laughs> I, uh, uh, I basically messed around with the pre gen I found <laughs> based on DB Cooper, so. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, let's see. It's, uh, what's been keeping you awake? I robbed a luxury train traveling through the Swiss Alps and escaped with a sack full of jewels and other valuables. I fled Europe to America, but ended up in the Mad City instead. So that's been keeping you awake, like, because you're just been on the run. That's exactly. That's kept you awake. Exactly. Okay. Can't sleep because you don't know when the cops are going to get you. Uh, yeah. As for what's keeping me awake is I have lost my job and uh will probably soon be homeless uh, so two different uh creeping dreads well yeah That's basically good. lack of money <laughs> is yep. the overall 
I like it. That gives, that gives that is very time. horrifying. Right. <laughs> been there, done that. No. Um, <laughs> so, that's what's been keeping you awake. This next question is going to be kind of where we start in the uh, kind of scene zero, so to say. What just happened to you? Um, or Jurgen, you kind of just told us what just happened to you. You stole yeah. money. and I, I have a... Uh... I killed one of the agents who pursued me, and he transformed into amorphous monstrosity upon death. I believe there are more after me. Ah, interesting. I like this. Give me lots of ideas already. That's what just happened to me. I was coming back uh, home late at night, and... Uh, went by some uh, less than savory characters who then proceeded to try and mug me and I ran and fled down a, uh, a an unknown alley and ended up in the mad city okay oh and then the next two questions these are kind of a, uh, a two-parter or two sides of the same coin what's on the surface and what lies beneath what's on the surface this is what people like see as you present yourself like just immediate reactions and what lies beneath is your the more like core central part of yourself all right uh what what's on the surface uh blonde hair green eyes i wear a yankees baseball cap and sunglasses to hide my face i'm inconspicuously conspicuous <laughs> <laughs> uh so i am very disheveled uh like slouching uh, thinly, need a shave, just rather ramshackled. As for what was beneath, I've become famous for what happened. The news won't stop talking about me. My pride compels me to possibly rob someone again, and the temptation of the infamy is too much for me to resist. Uh, uh, for me, despite my... Um, uh, I may act cowardly at times. Uh, I secretly wish to... Uh, do more, be more heroic, and I don't know. <laughs> Stuff like that. Okay. Wanting to, seeking to better himself. Yeah. Despite his, Just, uh... Even if it never turns out that way. <laughs> yep. And then the final one is a pure RP question. Uh, what's your path? This is essentially your character. It can be like direct goals, or it can be just kind of where they're headed. Uh, uh, my path is to keep robbing and get richer, or get caught and killed by whatever that blob was. <laughs> Mine is to just live a happy life. <laughs> I don't um, think that's going to happen. No. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some stability. All right. All right. So those are the main um, questions that the sheet has that aren't, that isn't on the, the field um but the next so the next part i'm gonna go ahead and explain the way that the dice mechanic works in this game um so in this game you actually have three different dice pools uh your basic dice pool that you will always use is a set of three dice um three d everything's on d6s let me say that first but um you have three dice these are called your discipline dice these will always be rolled whenever a dice check is called um, I will set the difficulty by rolling an amount of pain dice equal to the difficulty. So a, a difficulty four task will, I will roll um, four dice. A one, two, and a three is a success. Um, but obviously a th three dice isn't going to, like, like a four is kind of a bit of a medium thing. So that seems like my pain dice are going to be succeeding a lot more. You can up your numbers by using um temporary madness dice these um make you a little bit stronger but again this is kind of the whole insomnia thing you could bend reality to be able to use these dice but there's a chance they may dominate and i'll get to domination uh, what dice pool dominates and what that does in a second um the other alternative that you can add is exhaustion temporary madness goes away after that dice roll exhaustion does not Exhaustion builds up until you fill your exhaustion. Then you fall asleep. 
not only does that mean you lose your powers, but you're in the Mad City in the realm of dreams. So if you fall asleep, you become a beacon for the nightmares, and they will come after you. Um, so obviously you don't want to rest your head. Don't want to fall asleep. Um, but when you use those dice, as I say, like they, it, it stays, so it makes your basic dice pool bigger. They also allow you to use an exhaustion talent. We'll get to the talents um, after I explain this, uh, the, dom the pool, dominating pools. So as I said, a one, two, and a three, and I know this is kind of a lot, it'll make sense as we get rolling. Um, but uh, as you roll the dice, I say one, two, and three are successes. But for every six, you count that many sixes per each pool. And depending on what pool has the most sixes is dominating. So you have madness, exhaustion, discipline, or pain that can dominate the scene, which will color how you either succeed or fail. And it also has some mechanical benefits or penalties that we'll get to as, as they happen. Um, so then the, uh, the next question I have for you guys for your um, character design um, Part of your madness is that it, when madness dominates, it can cause you to check off your fight or flight uh, responses. You guys should have three boxes you can split between fight or flight. So you can put all three in fight, all three in flight, or you know, one in two in however order you want to do it. One fight, two flight. One fight, two flight. All flight. All flight. Alrighty. So you guys are looking to uh, GTFO as you need. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Which is not is not a, uh, a bad uh, choice to make in the uh, city of nightmares. <laughs> so uh, the last two parts of your character sheet, these are your, your talents, your exhaustion and your madness talents. Um, your exhaustion talent, this is going to be something that everybody can do. It's an everyday ability. You can just do it almost supernaturally well. It could be running away, driving a car, shooting a gun, um, running just in general, uh, parkour, whatever you want. Mm, I'll just go with stealing. Stealing? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Why don't we say, instead of stealing, um, uh, sleight of hand? Yeah, that's fine. That works. Okay. Uh, and mine is perception. Uh, noticing things, spotting things, that sort of thing. All right. I hate that it moves to boxes every time I hit enter. <laughs> oh, roll 20. Right. Yeah. And then your madness talent, instead of it just being something that, that is normal that you can do supernaturally well, this is the supernatural. This is the dream logic at its most pure state. This is when you begin to bend reality to your will. Hmm. Uh, I'll go with what was on the. Uh pre-made thing truth to the rumors if someone's aware of my reputation they'll have some idea what i'm capable of whenever i turn on the act <laughs> i'm in fact entirely capable of what he thinks i'm capable of interesting um uh, mine is uh slow it down uh i just can make things act uh, move slower, basically. You know, the more I, or the further I push it, the slower, depending okay. on what it is. Alrighty, cool. So, um, to explain to you guys in the audience how to tap into these talents, if you want to use, uh, oh, um, by the way, there should be in your um, handouts tab, there should be a handout of rules summary. Yes, I saw that. Okay. So that way you guys can pull it up if you guys need it, just to, you know, have it have it there. Um, oh, okay. cool. All right. 
Um, but yeah, so um, in order to use, so your exhaustion talents are going to have a minor and a major use. Um, what this means is that to use a minor, mechanically speaking, um, as long as you have one um, exhaustion die in your pool, you can use that. And it allows you to have a minimum number of successes equal to your level of exhaustion. So it kind of gives you a, a hard floor for successes. Mm -hmm. Your major use, you must increase your exhaustion by one, but it allows you to add your current level of exhaustion to the, to the successes. So in addition to whatever you roll, you then gain an additional amount of successes equal to your exhaustion. So it's pretty good, it's just that both of them will more or less allow exhaustion to get closer towards dominating. And when it dominates, it begins to kind of become a domino effect. The, the easier it is to gain more exhaustion, um, and therefore the, e the faster it is to fall asleep. Gotcha. For madness talent, you will add one to six temporary madness to your roll. You have to add madness, but again, it'll go away after the roll. And depending on how many dice you add, I will tell you what level of effect you're going to get. Or if you want to say, I specifically want to do this level, I can tell you that that'll be three madness dice or whatever. Um, so that's how you'll tap into your talents. And then the last mechanic that I think I need to explain, um, sometimes over the course of the game, things will happen that will give me despair coins. Despair coins allow me to um, take away a six from a pool or put a six into a pool so I can manipulate what pool dominates. Um, but whenever I spend a despair coin, it goes into the hope coin coffer. As a hope coin, you guys can spend this to remove an exhaustion to remove a check mark from your fight or flight boxes, or to add a success to any pool you want. So kind of like fate. Yeah, a little bit. Um, and I mean, actually, this game is done by Evil Hat Productions, who also made fate. So there is a direct correlation. There. All right. So is there any questions before we get going? I learned better by doing, so let's do it. <laughs> Alrighty. So we're going to start with uh, Jurgen. You said that... Uh... Go ahead t tell me... Okay, so you had the guy was... You attacked the guy and he turned into a monster. Um... Yep, I killed him and he turned into a, some kind of horrible blob with like arms and various body parts just sticking out of it. All I did was stab him in the stomach. All right, so yeah, as, as the knife enters his stomach, instead of blood seeping out, it's like this black ichor that, as you step back, it begins to kind of just grow and grow, and there seems to be bleeding more than what this body can have. And eventually it becomes this thing standing in front of you. This is not normal. I just, I just run. Okay. <laughs> like, leaving the knife in the thing. Okay. Um, so where are you when this happens? Um, let's say in my apartment. Like a dingy, like low-profile apartment. Okay. All right. So, yeah, you're going to go ahead and, and run. Give. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the first roll for this is going to be a pain three for you to get out of the apartment as a thing lunges and barrels at you. Gotcha. It's not, it doesn't move with any finesse. It's just like bull in a china shop just pushing for you. All right, so I roll 3d6, correct? Yep. I don't think I got any <laughs> successes. You want one, two, no three. Successes. And I got two. So you, um, while you do not escape... Um, Discipline does dominate. Um, so, yeah, you're running. You, so you run towards it. You throw open the door. And as you're about to get into the hallway to the uh, um, in the apartment, you feel this sludge-like thing slap out and grab your leg. 
Oh, well, God's. Um, I just, uh, I'll just start kicking at it. Try, not even, like, trying to necessarily grab, more like a kick away, like, not trying to hurt it, but just pry it off of me. Just kicking so it, like, yeah. lets go. Exactly. Deal. Okay. Yeah, so as, as you do so, like, it's, like, pulling itself forward, but you do manage to kick it off of you. Uh, but it is in the hallway with you. It is right there on top of you, pretty much. Is there a window? There is. All right, um, I, I want to try to just jump out, burst through what, the window, roll into the street. What time of day was it when uh, this happened? Not makes sense. Night time. Yeah. Okay. So you run up to the window and you throw open the window, uh, or are you just gonna try to barrel? I just try to window? barrel through it. Okay. So as you do so, um, the glass gives way, and you feel yourself falling, and falling, and falling, and falling, and. You're falling for way longer than you uh, probably should be. Uh, you begin to lose kind of track of time. Like it's one of those like timeless fallings, um, until you land with a wet oomph as as the air is knocked out of your lungs. <clears throat> oh no. Where am I? Your hands go down on the ground and you can feel this wet asphalt. Um, What's this and as you look around, it is like like 1920s old middle of New York brickwork. Like, you know, just inner city. Um, there's like a, a, a manhole cover with steam coming out of it. It's not raining, but it's like wet. Like it just has... Um, you can see cars moving in the distance. You can hear all of the sounds of the city, but it's eerily muted. Hmm. All right, I'll, I'll just stand up, see if the, if I can, and see if the, uh, the blob is anywhere nearby. You don't see it. Okay. Uh, I just start walking towards another building slowly, keeping my head okay. on a swivel. As, as you're walking down the road, um, to one side of the road, there is this empty park. Um, you know, middle, inner city park, so it's not mm -hmm. big, but there's trees and grass and everything. And on the other side of the road is a line of apartment buildings. Um, again, the kind where it's like you might have, you know, a 10 foot, 10 square foot bedroom. You know, that's a big room, you know, that type of apartment mm -hmm. building. Um, as you begin to walk towards those, we're going to cut over to Alex. <sighs> so, remind me again what your... Um, I was I was fleeing from some muggers, and I just took a turn around an alley. Okay. So, as you cut down the alleyway, um, you hear some barking coming from the di the direction that you're running towards. Mm. Uh, I so is there anyone? Does it look like, or does it seem like there's anyone behind me? Still, uh, you can hear their footsteps coming after you. Yes, but you don't Ugh. because you just cut around the corner. You don't see them. All right, I'll just keep going towards the. I guess I'll take my chances with the dog. Okay. Um, yeah, so you continue running and running and, you know, like in dreams when you're running and running and like, you're definitely moving, but where you're moving towards isn't getting any closer. Mm -hmm. Like you're running in sludge type deal. That's what you feel. Um, it seems like that wall, but as you look behind you, the same sensation is behind you and you can hear those footsteps coming, but they're not, they've not come around the corner. Oh man. Oh, okay. What? Damn. Does it still all look normal? Yeah, it all looks normal. Mm. Um, it, besides this this reality shifting, stretching of distances. Mm. But the buildings all look the same. I guess I'll keep. I'll just keep running. Okay. Um, go ahead, and we're gonna also call this a pain three um, escape roll. Oh, 
those were fives. All right. So you got two successes, and I got. Uh, I rolled d fives. Oh, you did. You did. Still, Wait, you same still got thing. two successes. Yep. <laughs> um. So we both tied, but um, I'm gonna say because you have two ones and I only have one one, you do succeed. All right. On top of that, discipline. So when you have tying for dominance, there is a um, an hierarchy, and uh, discipline is the uh, top of the hierarchy. So you do escape. So it, like it's almost like a rubber banding effect, right? Like you're running, 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 and then suddenly pop, and you you almost hear this audible pop and feel it as much as you hear it. Um, and suddenly you're running forward um, further down this alley, mm -hmm. and then it empties out into the middle of the road. Across from the road, you see a small park. Like It looks like you're in an inner city park. Um, look like Seattle? And, and if you look <laughs> behind... <laughs> Seattle. Uh, wh what, where were you from, actually? Seattle. Seattle? Okay. So, yeah, this, this like, suddenly looks different. Again, like, that... that 1920s noir film New York. Um, as you look behind you, you see these small, crowded apartments. Um, and you notice a guy kind of getting... There's a guy just sitting in a puddle in the middle of the road. And he stands up um, and begins to walk down the road. Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Uh, yes? You know where I am. Oh, well, who are you? Uh, Alex? Uh, Alex, I do not know where you are. I do not know where I am. Uh, oh, great. Really well, one minute I'm in my apartment, and the next I'm in New York City. You look familiar. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I that, think that's I've not seen possible. you somewhere. Mm, right, no. like I assume you 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 said it was high maybe profile. around town. Like, it's probably or uh, oh, Seely, you said it was high profile, right? Like, and they probably like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm sure you've seen me. All right. Uh. Mm -hmm. it, it it must have been around town or something. Hmm. Maybe a grocery store, but. I, what? How did you get here? Uh, I was running from the blob thing, right? No. Arms coming out of it, black ichor everywhere. They were just <laughs> some people. What? What did they look like? Did they have hats on? <laughs> Could you see their faces? Uh, yeah. They just—they were trying to mug me. Man, this oh. is the weirdest dream I've um, ever had. Jurgen is wondering to himself if he can recall this person. Maybe tried to bug him before. Maybe that's where where, where he uh, recognizes me, not on TV or in the newspaper. Uh, well, that, um, that sounds uh, that sounds like quite the the pickle. I'll hold out my hand. My name is Jurgen. Alex, and I shake it. All right. You look like you could uh, use a shave there, Alex. Yeah, it's been. Do, does he stink? A rough week. No. No. Okay. Not. No, not overly. Like, maybe, probably didn't. Maybe miss. Uh, should reapply his deodorant, but. <laughs> Even if he did, it would be hard to smell him over the like inner city oh. like rank, like yeah. wet dog oh. rank of. of... Well, I think this is the longer better. we stay here, those who are looking for us are going to uh, going to come after us. So I perhaps guess. we should. Uh, I don't know. What do you suggest we go? Listen, man, I'm not even sure any of this is real. I mean, I I like bot my hand a little bit. Does it hurt? Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> You feel you feel the ivory yeah. teeth of your mouth yeah. sink into your flesh. Oh God! No. <laughs> the hurt. 
think this is real. Okay. Uh, well, Mr. Real, totally real person, where do you think we should go? <laughs> I mean, I'd... Uh, not here, just some somewhere away. Let's just walk well, There's a run. park over there. There's a park on the other side of the street, um, and then just up the street, you can see the blue building um, of a police station. Oh. Yeah. Police station. Surely they'll be able to help Oh, us. yes. I'm, I'm sure they could help us. Yeah. Um, what if the police <laughs> are the bad guys, though? What yeah. bad guys? I was just... I mean, it was a police... Was... What? That's... The person who was a blob was a policeman before, and then he turned into what a blob. blob? You mentioned He that tried before. to kill what me. What are you talking about? Yes, I was... I'm being chased by some kind of... I don't, I don't know what it is. Well, that sounds... troubling? Yeah. It's very disturbing. Then... What just, do just you the propose? Police, uh, Maybe we could find a diner and get something to eat somewhere, but you know, there's a lot of people. No one's going to attack us Just in public. Past the police station, suddenly you guys notice that there's a diner. Not really sure if it was there before or not. Oh like, no! You just now recognize that there's a diner right there. Well, let's go that way where there's probably people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's, yeah. Let's do that. All right. Maybe there's others like us who are getting uh, having odd things happen to them. So Find out what's as, going on. As you approach the diner, you get this um, smell of like freshly made diner greasy breakfast, like bacon and sausage and eggs and coffee. Despite the fact that it's like black as night outside, uh, you can't even see like stars or a moon in the sky. Oh uh, yeah, it's just <laughs> like my father used to make. <laughs> um. The door opens with, you know, a little bell-like jingle, and you see it's not slam-packed, but it's pretty filled. Um, they, um, a, a little woman behind the counter uh, gestures for you to find uh, your own booth, but what you note is all the people in here are oddly... Out of focus isn't quite the right word. But it's like the opposite of it being surreal. Like they seem like they're just less there. Their just colors muted. are less. Yeah, muted. Their colors are less vibrant. The sounds of the forks and knives on the plates are are quieter. It's like um, we're underwater or something almost. Sort of, yeah. Yeah, this right. is definitely Let's go odd. Sit. Here's yeah, a just, booth. Just act normal. I'll, like, pick up a menu and look at it. Wait for a it's waitress. All, it has all your basic, you know, uh, diner, breakfast, fare. Again, you have the bacon oh, yeah. eggs, Scattered, the smothered, and covered, yes. There's, uh, you know, waffles, Belgian waffles, you know, uh, oh, pancakes, no. flapjacks, the whole nine yards. Um, uh, after a moment, as you guys are looking through, the, the woman who had gestured for you comes around, and she sets two... Uh, mugs in front of you and begins to pour you some black coffee. Mm. What can I get for y'all, sugar? Oh yeah, some sugar and cream, please. <laughs> All right. I'm I'm a wussy. <laughs> so I've been told. She just kind of laughs politely. And for you, dear? Oh, uh, just the coffee's fine, thanks. All right, you just holler if you need anything else, and she goes yeah, to you. Uh, fetch you some sugar and cream. Sean. So... I'll, I'll uh, try... Is there anyone sitting near us? Uh, yeah. I'll, there is... I'll... On the booth behind you, there seems to be these, like, trucker types that are just kind of hunched over their breakfast. All right. Even though things are, like, muted and hard to hear, I'll, I'll still try to listen in and see what they're saying. They're not really saying anything. They're just scarfing at their food. Okay. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just <clears throat> uh, yeah. So v weird things happening lately, huh? Um, I don't know what all this. Uh, this things look so weird. Like try, trying to like, like pick up their attention, 
not like talk to them necessarily, but just comment on it and see if they like add to the conversation at all. Gotcha. Yeah, it's weird. We've been discussing this. That that's just me, like yeah. not realizing what he's doing. Like, yeah, <laughs> we've been talking about this. <laughs> yeah, no, weird. it's now you're it, acting weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, weird things could have been happening to anyone. Yeah, I mean... The uh, trucker who's sitting with his back towards you, um, just kind of, he looks over his shoulder, um, chewing, like, just kind of sloppily, and then just kind of turns back to his food. But beyond that, you don't get much reaction. Mm -hmm. uh, when she comes back to drop off his, you know, sugar and cream or whatever. Okay. Uh, yep, she's I'm just... coming back now. All right. Uh... Where are we? Oh, well, you're at the uh, Whale and Tail uh, Diner, darling. And where is that? It's it, certainly that's not New York City. Here. Oh no, no, not no. It's we're not in New York, silly. No, this is this is uh, this is the city that never slumbers. Oh, Las mm. Vegas. I've heard great details about this Las Vegas. She just stares at you blankly. Uh, uh -huh. Well, are you ready to order, or should I give you some more time? Are you getting anything? Uh, I'd like to try your biscuits and gravy, I think. Alrighty. And for you? Uh, I'm just good with the coffee all right she heads back to put your order in she said this wasn't new york but new york is the city that never sleeps it's not las vegas no oh god <laughs> i swear i've grown up here my entire life is uh, huh yeah i can Tell you have a great <laughs> New Yorker accent. Yeah, I know. Um, is there any sort of television or something? Yes, yes there is. There's what? a TV on. Um, it's showing. It's showing like a basic kind of news reel. Um, it's turned down low, so you can't hear what's being said. But you see, just kind of like the stereotypical newsman is sitting there. He has like a stack of papers in front of him, and he's talking. Mm -hmm. um, and whereas the TV itself and the the uh, green screen behind him seem very vivid, he himself has that same muted aspect that all the other diners have. Hmm. Man. I just don't know how what heads or tails to make of all this. Um. And you do you do see um, there on the little ticker tape banner at the bottom of the uh, newscast. Um, reading, uh, the mysterious killer has struck again. Um, one more paper boy has fallen to him. See, that's what's coming after me. Huh. It must have been. I thought print media was dead. <laughs> well, I guess now it really is. Um, <laughs> <sighs> well got your food now what uh does the tv say anything about the last uh the crime scene where it was no it just it just every so often that pops back up but beyond that it gives like you know the uh uh current days uh stock numbers talks about this name that neither of you recognize winning some kind of electoral thing um yeah new man. but it, it just kind of you know general new stuff the only one that really sticks out to you is whenever it returns to that and each time the information is, is worded a little bit differently but you get the idea that that this has been going on for a little while now here in the city um and that mm. yeah that, yeah. that it's a problem <laughs> so you were asking where we were uh, where, where were you getting chased at, Alex? Uh, I was 
going home in Seattle. This that, does not look like Seattle. That's odd. That's that's very odd. Yes. Everything about this has been definitely odd. I can definitely say that much. Okay. Anything else? Not okay. so much. Okay, so I think we... Let me... I assume the, the, I fell asleep you know, this, in an this alley somewhere. Some gravy aren't even Probably very about to be stabbed. Uh, Maybe mauled by a dog. Yeah. I'll I'll just I'll, I'll just I put like a ten dollar bill on the table. Let's let's go. Uh, let, let's. Uh, okay. As let's you, just keep wondering. We, if we keep walking, we'll get somewhere. As you guys stand up to leave, you know you see that the the lady comes back to the desk and goes to um, clean up and. Uh, hey hey wait a minute. Yeah. What is this? And she like holds the money in her hand, and she just has this angry look on her face. What is this? Uh, that is that that is a ten dollar bill, I believe. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I like bumble through my wallet, and make sure Alexander that I have my Hamilton, my euros yeah. separated from my, the Revolutionary War. My dollars. There's a hip hopper about him. This. What do you think this is like? Some kind of charity or something? No, you need to pay for your food. I, I am paying. Am I not? N not with this crap. No, you need to... Uh, 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 I, need well, I don't have to wash any dishes or anything, do I? Because I have... You just think you're going to walk out of here free? <laughs> Either pay up. Just two wax coins is all you need. Wax. All I'm asking. Otherwise, yes, you're gonna have to be washing some dishes. Well, I have very sensitive skin. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you have any wax coins, um, Alex? I don't. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll fumble reach through my into pockets. My pockets. <laughs> um, as you both begin to fumble through your pockets, any change that you had, um, it, it doesn't feel metallic. Hmm. And as you pull them out, sure enough, they. They seem to be made of wax, and the uh, uh, all of them uniform. They they aren't they haven't changed size. They're all like one single size, and um, imprinted upon them seems to be this almost anthropomorphic candle. <laughs> yeah, that I mean. Oh uh, yes, Beauty and the Beast. That... <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure, that happens in dreams. Here's one. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. Thank you. Uh, get on out of here. She just kind of waves you away and like stomps back behind the counter. When she stomps back behind the counter, I try to pick the one that I put down back into my pocket. <laughs> I'm gonna slide a hand it back in my. Uh, well, the the coin that you gave her. Uh, yes, or set on the table or whatever. Um. Unless she picked sure. it up. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like you can you can try to like like. Maybe not that particular coin, but like another one or something. You grab some of the tip money or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, like let's do that. Let's do that. Essentially to get the recouping your loss. Yeah. Okay. Um. So in order to do that, you're because you're trying to specifically use your talent, you're going to have to increase your exhaustion. Um. This will. That's uh, fine. I want to. <laughs> it's learning how the game works, too. Okay. So yeah, so you get to roll four dice, and I'm going to say that this is a um. That's probably still a uh, pain three. All right, I got three successes. Three successes, and I got two, but pain dominated. So, because pain dominated, you are able to get the coin from her. However, um... oh god, it's going to turn into a monster. <laughs> <laughs> I have gained a despair coin, Got and it. as you uh, um, seem to be getting out scot free, and you just hear her, and never come back to my diner again. And you feel almost like a supernatural push that like almost shoves you out of the door, out of the diner. Oh God, she's and one of the things. shut with a reverberating <laughs> clack. I yep and run a little bit. Yep. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah. There's there, there's something weird about her. I don't I don't know what it was. Something um, weird about everyone. Yeah. Let's uh. Well, let's not 
Let's not go anywhere else. We have to spend the money. Are you sure you don't want to go check out the police stations right there? I mean, is uh, is anything the matter, sons? Um, you hear a voice behind you. <clears throat> I'll let Alex talk this time. I turn around. Um, as you turn around, you see a what looks like like a stereotypical like policeman from the uh, uh, Victorian era England. You know, has like the tall hat. And everything. <laughs> Um, and he has, like, the billy club. But he's dressed in, like, fine blues, like a modern-day police officer. Um, and he even has, like, a walkie-talkie and everything. Um, but you can almost hear, like, this, like, quiet, like, a tick, 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 tick sound emanating from him. But what's the most weird about him is attached to his um, hat is this flat white mask that is dropped down over his face with exaggerated black eyes and a smile. Like, think like a, a theater, the, the laughing man mask type deal. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure how I got here. I think I might be lost. Um... Oh. Where are you looking to be going? Maybe I can help. Seattle? Yeah, yeah Seattle sounds about nice. Yes. Hmm. I don't... Don't know that I've ever heard of a Seattle. Um, of course not. And you hear, um, like, picking... Um, just kind of sounds more... Uh, what is that ticking? What ticking? <laughs> Just uh, hold on a minute. And he he, he moves to his walkie-talkie. Uh, yeah, I have um two young lost men out here. Can I, I have some assistance, please? They're looking for a uh, C Atoll. <laughs> and he just, without like you guys hearing anything coming out of the boxes, he just kind of nods. Thanks. <laughs> Uh huh. And then a moment later, the you know police door opens, and another one almost looks exactly like him. Um, the mask might be a little bit different, but pretty much almost down to the folds in his cloth seem to be the same as he comes out and steps down the stoop. <sighs> what are you going to tell them, Alex? Tell them what? Or what? Huh? They're going to do something to us. They're going Why? To do something? No, I. We're just trying to help you find your way. Yeah, find our way to where? You don't even know where Seattle is. But surely we can all figure it out together. Do you have a map? We can find one. Alright, let us find one. Hmm. Where do you suggest well, if looking? Just, if it's just a map you're looking for, then perhaps you can find it in the Bazaar Bazaar. Uh huh. And is, where is that? Some kind of this? carnival. Carnival? No, it's it's the bazaar. It's and he points towards Who the, um, the that bazaar? park that you saw. It's should it's just past the park over there. Um, uh, surely you can find what you're looking for as long as you have the uh, um, ability to pay for math. Sure. Oh, yes, I'm sure we do. All right. I will thank you, officers. Um, you have been the most helpful. Well, good. Uh, have a good day. And they both kind of start heading back towards the um, uh, office. And as they're walking away from you, you can see two small tiny turnkeys that are just spinning on their backs yeah that's definitely not creepy at all yeah you must have been watching too much doctor who <laughs> <laughs> i guess we'll head past some park i mean i don't even know who who uses the word bizarre like uh people in a renaissance fair I believe that's the last time I heard the word used. Hmm. 
Well, let's go check it out. I <laughs> just start wandering aimlessly in the direction that they generally pointed towards. Yeah, back past the park, I guess. Yeah, as you guys, you guys kind of cross through the park, um, and you can see there's some more buildings just past it, and you can see down some of the alleyways, there's like some lights that are lighting up, um, and you can hear general activity that it, this time it does not sound very muted. It's like like almost a return to the way that sound should sound. Um, standing Special. almost at like an entryway into that area behind the buildings, you see a uh, uh, young man. Um, he's wearing, you know, kind of the newsy hat and everything, and he has papers. And, you know, he's holding them up and trying to get the attention of anybody that passes by. Um, in an attempt to get a cell. Well? Uh, young child, you best watch out. Huh? He asks, and looking up at you. Have you, not, have you not seen the news? As, as he does so, you notice that it's not quite a... Like, you thought it was a child from a distance, but where a human face would be it looks like it's just like this crumpled smudge newsprint and hey, like fuck. the crumple seem to like form like a mouth and like eyes so you still have like a face there um what you mean mister i he must have already gotten to him really. uh yeah. wait you are a you deliver newspapers um yeah, I, you, I, what, you want a copy, Mister? Uh, no, I, I don't. And he holds one up, and it and it reads, um, "Newcomers to the bazaar cause issues." Oh God, no, Off no, I don't want, I don't want one. No, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just concerned that uh, I mean, surely you've read the news and uh, that there are uh, people who do not like uh, newspaper boys. Yes, murderer, serial killer. Newspaper Maybe, boy, serial but, killer? I mean, it, you know, it's not, it's not anything new, though. He just kind of offers a shrug. I hope you, they pay you a box of Vax coins, yeah. Enough to doing get by. A, doing such a dangerous job. But, but really where I get, get my pay from is from anybody who, um, you know, buys one of these. And kind of, like, shakes it in your face. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, just, uh, here you go. I'll give him a. I'll give him a coin or whatever. See if that if he demands more or not. Nope. He he takes it and hands you the, the uh, newspaper. All right. Huh. The um as I said the front article on it says you know that newcomers to the bazaar cause issues. Officer talk to investigate. Um and it it details how you know there there was recently an uproar. Um, two new people to the city didn't really know what was going on, and, and there ended up being a scuffle. And Officer Talk had to be called in. Um, well, it travels but it, fast. At least a lot of the details seem to be very fuzzy and vague. Well, um, does that help any in any way? <laughs> Let's just keep walking to the bazaar. Maybe we should. Uh... I assume this newspaper is um, talking about us. Uh, How? Well, we are newcomers. We ran into a policeman. But we haven't caused any issues. Yet. Maybe we should... Uh, I don't know. You think we should try to do what the newspaper says we might be doing? Or avoid the bazaar altogether? Uh, I don't... I, hell if I know. This place does seem different than the rest. Like, more real, you know? Well, that, that's perhaps our key out, then. Maybe. Well, I, I, think, know, I think it's about to look. Maybe talk to someone selling crap? I don't know. I mean, it is kind of cool that we're already in the newspaper, yeah? I mean, if it's us, I guess. Oh, it's us. I'm, I'm, I'm sure of that. <laughs> I, I, I would, I would know. No, 
No, I wouldn't know. I would. I would not know. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> not know what? Oh, you know, having your picture in the paper. Ah. Hmm. Well, should we just find someone? I don't know. Just start asking random people. Yeah, let's let's do that. And so as you set foot into Bazaar proper, you see there's like all of these small, uh, for lack of a better term, stalls and booths. But they're more like people just kind of sitting like on blankets with things just kind of around them for sale. There there are a couple that are like a wooden stall that has like food cooking on it or something, or maybe like a, a fruit stand. But most of the people seem to be like just kind of have laid out a blanket and are sitting upon it to sell things. Um, hmm. But as as you begin to walk in there, that realness, that tangibility that the other people were lacking almost has shifted into the surreal. Like, it's almost like it's more real than the rest. <laughs> well, uh... Near, uh, just, I guess, to give you guys a, uh... You see some of the, um... At one of the booths... It's almost more like a tent that's been set up, you know, and inside or like decorating the outside of it, it has like like images of like globes and you can see like like there's like a stuffed animal outside and it kind of has like that that hunter's vibe. Um, there's like a pith hat sitting on a, um, a, a, a dummy outside of it, that kind of thing. Hmm. Oh, stuffed animal. Gotcha. Does the globe look at yeah, all like our not, world? Not a teddy bear, but right? Like, yeah, I got there. Animal. <laughs> Does the uh, globe look at all like the Earth? Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna retcon what I just said. It is a taxidermied stuffed animal. Because mm. <laughs> I okay. can do that in this game. <laughs> now this is the oddest thing I've seen all day. Yeah. Without a doubt. Um. I know, let's ask around, I like guess. Like it? The uh, dummy says to you. Oh. Oh, God. Okay, that's new. Mein Gott. Uh, I'll look for an arm sticking in the dummy. No, it's it's just like a um, like a sewing um, form, and it has like that pith hat on it, and over it is one of those like uh, 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 like hunter jackets, you, you know the the kind of style that I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, right? yeah. Like, like the Jumanji the, guy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But the uh, sleeves are just kind of like sitting there limply, just kind of hanging, and there's no pants because again, it's just it's just a dress form dummy. Well, you talk to him, Alex. He's he's creeping me out. Yes. Uh, have you? You out. Goodness, yep. have you seen your mug? <laughs> oh, yes, a lot. Have you ever heard of Seattle? Seattle, Seattle, Seattle. Um, oh, that's, that's the, um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's that place that, um, sunk under the ocean, right? No? No? See? No. <laughs> yes, no, it is. I, I, I know my legends, boy, let me tell you. Um... In fact, I've been talking about setting out for an expedition out there at some point. Yes, sirree. Uh huh. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Well, that's helpful. So, what what brings you talking about Seattle, boy? I would just like to go there. <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't all we wouldn't all we and he just kind of like stops and like sighs you know as I said I'm, make, I'm planning for an expedition to go on out there I uh might have a map that I could uh that happens to have this location on it 
Mm-hmm. Codified, of course. Codified, of course. Um, you couldn't perhaps, perchance uh, take a look at it? Just gloss over? Yeah, that would not be a problem. Um, but uh, I'm going to need some compensation. Oh, everyone's and asking for compensation. Like a, like a cool smile going uh, upon the. Uh, uh, somehow the hat seems to communicate the smile <laughs> despite there not actually being a face. How, How much, much vax do you want? Oh no 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 no, no I don't I don't I don't deal in wax. Ah souls, got you. Yeah. <laughs> what creepy oh, talking no, hat? What? what no what? What do you take me for? A creepy talking oh. hat. Yeah, but uh, there's I I have not I have no reason to need your souls. I, there's no, no no I don't deal in souls. If you want to sell your soul though, I do oh, know. No, no, I, no, no. Okay. I don't even want to hear I, about him. Uh, okay. <laughs> um no, 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 no. This uh This will be more dear, I think. So, souls are relatively cheap, easy to come by. People, people are willing to sell them left and right just to make a living, to pay for rent and food. Um, souls are cheap. No, I'm gonna need a, hmm, yes, yes, a, a memory. Oh my God, a you're memory? going to explore my mind, aren't you? No, no, just whatever. Uh, Whatever you're willing to offer. Uh, you want me to just write one down? Uh, just, just, uh... Explain it to you... He probably just... wants you to put him on your head, Alex. Yes. Just think, <laughs> just think about it and puts my hat upon your head. Uh, any... I mean... Sure. And I'll, what, what, is I mean, the, what is the memory that you're uh, selling him? Uh, got any preferences? Oh, just the the uh, anything that's that's uh, of equal value to finding your way to this sea atoll. Hmm. Um, I will alright I will think of one of my happiest memories uh, let's say my 16th birthday where I actually got a party <laughs> it was your only, only party that you from got my family child. yes oh uh... Oh, this is oh, this is uh quite good indeed. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think I'll, I, th I think that that should should suffice. And you remember making a deal with him, but you're not quite sure what he's talking about. What what's sufficing? Well. Uh. Did we? We, did we pay? No, I think uh, so. You have, yes, yes, yes. You, um... Yeah. And don't worry, don't worry. The uh, uh, dizziness w should wear off pretty soon. It may already have have worn off. I'm, some are stronger than others. Uh, just just put me on your uh, fellow's head there. Take take off that silly, silly children's hat off his head first. Children's please. hat? This is the greatest baseball team of all time. <laughs> Uh, I'll sure, take it off though. All right, and so you take it off, and uh, Alex puts fits the um, pith helmet upon your head. Oh God, you're coming with this? No, no, I just looking what where, what you're offering. <laughs> he didn't pay for me. No, no, silly child, no. Oh God, uh. Memory, uh... <laughs> Al uh, 
uh, Jurgen thinks of probably the worst thing he could think of because he's so worried and freaked out. It's where he stashed the stuff he stole. Because <laughs> that's the one thing he would not want to give over, so of course he thinks of it. Your the pit of your stomach falls out as you realize you've forgotten something important. Did you leave the stove on when the monster attacked? Is your apartment burning? No, that's not it. But you've forgotten something dead important. Oh god. I guess uh, this'll have to do. All right. Oh, it can't be that big a deal. You're you're acting like it's very nonchalant. So yeah, I think I got the good end of this bargain. Mm hmm. Just uh, deposit me once more upon my body. I'll take them off and put them on. All right. And as you do so, the the um, dress form kind of comes to life again and leads you into the tent, um, where there is a small table and a map that is sitting inside of, like, this glass case. And that's, like, the only thing inside this tent. There's nothing else in the tent. <laughs> okay. So here uh, it is. I take the map. Okay. Uh, and he's like, you know, I think you did overpay a little bit, but, uh, you can you can take the map. It's quite all right. I'll find another. Okay. You remember right. paying. Um. It's quite all right. All right. Uh, look. What what do we see? Okay. As uh, you unroll the map and um, it, you see a picture of your. That, that section of town that you were walking through when you were attacked by the muggers, it's almost like a still life of that. But, um, Jurgen, you would recognize that one of the buildings in this picture is your apartment building. Oh. Which is odd, because you weren't from Seattle, right? That, that no. shouldn't be there. But it plain as day is. Um... I mean, well, um, this is definitely where I was, but what else? I I have never been to Seattle. Map? Uh, that's that's just my apartment. Um, uh, I'm, as I'm I confused. said, it was it was it, it is a little little uh, um encoded, but uh, I'm sure you'd be able to find your way through it. Um, well, I think we have no choice. Um. At this point, it's the only lead we have. You look like you're skilled in ciphers. He offers with a chuckle. <laughs> uh, I've done a few puzzles in my my childhood, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you have. I'm sure you have. Well, if you need any anything else, just let me know. I will be here for all 13 hours of the day. Uh, yeah, that that team, yes. Um, uh, and what hour is it now? Why it's the thirteenth hour, of course. Well, and he looks down at his the little empty sleeve that's just kind of dangling. He looks down at it as if he would be looking at a watch. Well, I guess it's looking at almost halfway through the thirteenth hour, but uh, mm. yeah. I think we have 30 minutes. We should probably get to move on. Well, thank you for your time, magical hat. Taxidummy thing. thing. Uh, <laughs> Taxidummy, that one's funny. Uh, I like you. Good night. You're a good boy. You're Duncan. a good boy. Duncan. All right, we leave the tent. Okay. So you're back out in the bazaar with a new map. And... Do you have any way... Do you understand this at all? Uh, is it just a picture I? of our places? Like, I, yeah. think, I think we have to go There's back to the else. place this all started at. Um, I guess? I mean, it's not that far. That means I'm going to have to... Uh, you were just likely confront what was chasing me. No, I... I mean, I ended up in a puddle where you found me, but... Um, I, I was initially in my apartment. Mm -hmm. So do you 
Do we go back to where you started or where I started? Uh, I mean, they were pretty, I don't, I mean, I came across you fairly quickly. Once I realized I was here, I guess. Um, I mean, let's just head that direction. All right. See if anything happens with the map. So, as you guys leave the, um, uh, Bizarre Bizarre, and you pass by the, uh, little newsy that you had seen from before, um, he's actually not there. Well... Yeah, I warned him he's going to he get is, murdered. but he's not. He, um... You see, you notice that there's like unfurled newspaper that's been nailed to the side of this brick wall, um, stretched out, and you recognize the uh, face within the top of the wrinkles just stretched, and the ink seems to be running from the uh, uh, newspapers themselves, and there's a section um, labeled coupons, and a large <laughs> swath of newspaper has been cut out there. And you just you just hear him moaning pain. I tried to the tell him. Fuck? I tried to tell him. I tried to warn him. Uh, do we try and help whatever this is? Fuck. Um. Oh. Come on! I grab. I grab. I'll grab his arm. Let's go. Let's, I guess let's drag him. Uh, I mean, do we? Can we try and? Take it down? Yeah, yeah, you can easily pull the, the nails out and you just have this, like, ink-soaked news rag that just wetly falls into your arms. Mm. Trying uh, form it into the shape of a person? <laughs> it kind of stands and then just collapses again. Well, uh, I, I think we've done all we can do, Alex. Careful, though. It's a coupon cutter. Coupon cutter? Yeah. It's a walking uh, pair of scissors. Is there anyone around? Nope. Not immediately. I mean, you could go back into the bazaar if you wanted, but there's no mm. one, like, right there. Uh, can I... Alright, so... Can I use my exhaustion talent to maybe, you know, find some clues or something? Uh, sure. Yeah. What do I perceive? So... so increase your exhaustion by one. Oh, um, when you roll dice, roll the three for your discipline, and then the one for your exhaustion mm. separate. So that way we know with pools when they, um, dominate or not. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Or, if you roll them all together, we'll say the first ones are oh, discipline. Yeah. Then exhaustion, then madness. Okay. So either or. Yeah, it's fine. Mistake. That works um, for me. I'm uh, missing find a clue here. It's going to be um, a pain six. So I don't know if you want to use more exhaustion than that or more madness. Yeah. Uh, um. I mean, I just rolled. Um. Because I wouldn't have been. I can't make it without using more that like right uh well so right now you have you have three successes um yeah. and a minimum of one success are you making this a minor um, or a major use of your exhaustion uh i guess minor okay yeah so then yeah you have three um uh oh pain is how many dice you roll not the dc right right yeah pain is or how many dice i'm gonna roll um I'm good with that. Okay. Nope, so oh. you do not find any clues, and I get another coin. Jeez. That roll. Um, so as you're looking for clues, I'm going to say that the way that the pain kind of dominates is you hear, like, the wet death rattle of this newsboy as he just kind of begins to deflate and you see all of the ink just runs from the paper into the the kind of wet ground and flows down into a drain and just for whatever reason despite the normality well not normal but just the the mundanity i guess of that 
for whatever reason, it has really, really disturbed both of you. As if it was the lifeblood of a creature. Maybe we should pick up our pace. Uh, Yeah, I agree. Let's, Let's go. I guess we'll, go, we'll head to the alley. Okay. Um, so you guys head to the alley. Uh, the rest of the time is, you know, it's not like it's that far to walk anyway there. Um, and you don't see any more people. There's no more newsies or anything. Um, but you can hear some commotion behind you. And then finally a loud shriek, a death shriek. Um, yep. You can surmise yep. that somebody probably found the newsboy. The newsie. Whatever you nope. Um, I don't know what you do about that now. No, you in almost in conjunction with that down the street where the the um police station is, you can see a uh, a number of those um officers coming out and heading that way. And in addition, there's one that stands almost a head above the rest. Let's but maybe that mask. His the his face is like that of a stopwatch. Let's maybe hide. Yeah, this is. I think we definitely stumbled Get out into of the way, beauty perhaps? of the beast. Uh, yeah, let's let's hide. Okay. Um, let me check to see what your DC is going. Um. How do you do, yeah, like? He's only a pain six right now. How do you do group rolls? Um. Is this like if... actually? Let me check that. See if it has any rules on that real fast. Um. Otherwise, what I would say is that um, one of you can roll, and the other one can roll to help if you gain. Oh yeah, there is like a help mechanic, Let's isn't there? See. Where is it? I know there's a help mechanic, I just gotta find it. <laughs> yeah, let me see. Uh, oh shoot, I had another. Oh, why did I close it? Ah, here. Let's see, help, help, help. Helping, Let's see, dice comment. It has page numbers for everything, except help. <laughs> well, this cheat sheet doesn't have it. Oh, you found it? Yeah, it should be on page 24. Helping, here we go. Um, so one person, one of you, you will decide which one of you is the main one that will roll. And then um, whoever is assisting can roll your discipline dice. Um, the discipline dice will add successes as normal, but they do not participate for determining what um, dominates. Mm-hmm. And the participating person cannot, or the, the assisting person cannot use any um, of his talents. Oh, okay. Okay, so we should probably go then, who has whatever, the better talent for it, maybe. But whatever, hap- whatever does dominate will hit everybody involved. Yeah. Even yeah. if you just help. You have a slow down talent, so maybe I should assist. In case, like, something weird happens. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Am I using that, though? Like, right now we're just trying to move out of the way. Duck down, right? Yeah, like, just turn down a different alley, maybe. Um... And mainly what you're rolling against is whether or not um, this, like, group of um, policemen saw you ducking away. Right. So. So, maybe none of, neither of our talents really fly there. Right. I mean, we can just both roll discipline, right? That's That'll just be six for six, right? Well, you will have to include exhaustion, because you both have increased your exhaustion by using your exhaustion talents. Or, but we don't, well, I mean, not the helper, right? Right, yeah, yeah, no, no, not the helper. So it'd be seven yeah. minutes. So it's basically the same. Yeah, um, but we don't become more exhausted, right? Or do uh, we? If it dominates, you can. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, so, I mean, I'm fine with rolling. Okay, that's fine. 
So the last one is the exhaustion, or right? Yeah, the last one die will be exhaustion. Okay. All right, I got two. I. So you guys got five. And he got four. So you guys do tuck away. But you uh, pain dominated. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I got a single six. Yep. Um, and you guys did not get any. Nope. But I think. Oh no! I can only spend one one thing per dice roll. So never mind. <sighs> so I gain another despair coin. So you guys are able to duck in. Um, what do you guys think? How how do you think pain might dominate you uh, ducking in? Or how do you guys... How, I guess the other question is, how are you guys hiding? Are you just ducking down the alleyway? Are you trying to hide behind something? Uh, I mean, I would have just gone down another alley. Um, okay. If possible. All right, so I'm going to say you guys... That's never been bad for me. Yeah. <laughs> As you guys uh, duck down another alleyway, um, Alex, you actually hear the baying of dogs, um, similar to what you heard mm. when you were deposited um, into the Mad City. Um, dogs. And you can see almost their shadows moving ahead uh, at the end of, uh, you know, just around around the corner. Um, there's a like, right. light shining in, and you see, like the shadow of dogs. Let's hold up here. I think there might be some dogs ahead. Okay, let's do that. I would prefer to avoid any sort of dog that lives here. Um, behind right. you, uh, or, or not behind you, but one of the doors in the alleyway. Um, it's a very tall door, and you see it carved all, it's like, you know, two people tall, two huge wooden oaken wood doors. And it has like mythological creatures carved all around it, and in the center is a very large picture of a griffin carved upon this door. That's a fancy looking door. Yeah. Um. Does it? I'll try to slowly turn the knob. Well, it's like a wooden door, so it would it would just like pull out. Okay. There's, there's not a knob. I, but... I try to make it not creak. You're just gonna open it. I mean, yeah, it's a door. We have we have to go into it. Yeah. Do we? I mean, there's a few other smaller doors as well down this this alleyway, but this is like the big ornate one that's there. Aren't Griffin's a mythological symbol denoting uh... <laughs> knowledge? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, oh, I didn't pay attention to myth class either. I'd slowly push it open and, like, look inside. It, like, creaks open, but it creaks with that same muted sound from before, so... It, well, that's it, good. As you look in, um, and you can, you, you have it open enough so you can kind of do this, where you look in and you look at the building on the outside and look back in again, because the inside is bigger than what the outside would make you think. But inside... Huh. It's lined with walls and walls and walls of books. And there's bookshelves going down the center. And just and it's like a two, three, four floors you can look up and you just see books upon books upon books upon books. Expecting Jason Voorhees or something. It's much better. Um, I'll walk in. Start looking at the titles of the books. I guess I'll see go if in. See any too. catch my eye. Shut the door. If you look Good call. The book, none of them. So what's weird is at least here at the front, most of the books are almost written in like sigils that you don't recognize. Not almost, they are written in in sigils that you don't recognize. Um, some of them seem to be like like what you would think of like magical sigils. Like when I say you, I mean you as players, not as yeah. characters. But some of them look more like lettering or like kanji. But they're just kind of all over the place in their stylistic differences. Hmm. Well, uh, what else 
is in here. There doesn't seem to be anyone in here, right? Not at the moment, no. Well... <sighs> I'm gonna pull out the map and look at it some more. Okay. The map, um, the picture that you've seen before is, like, shrunk. It has shrunk to, um, like, half of the uh, map, but, like, stayed, uh, in proportion. So, you, you know how, like, like when you're in Microsoft Word and you grab the corner little handle and pull it up? Like, that yeah. kind of a deal? Um, and then on the opposite corner, you see a picture of a book splayed open on a table. I think this is here. Um, I, I think that's a good bet, yeah. Um, Does that mean we're not close? Did we get further away? The pictures were much larger before. I don't know what any of this means. I'm getting really nervous. Yeah. Um, doesn't have any. The map doesn't have any color to it or anything, does it? No, it's all in grayscale. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there a table in here? It looks like the table. Um, you see a few tables, like a few like reading areas. There's some like really comfy chairs. There's um, you know, just kind of just general what you would expect from like a library for places for people to study or read or you know, just kind of. I just choose books. a random book and open it up. Okay. As you do so, um, it opens, and well. It's hard for you to read the words, not so much for the same reason from before, but the pages are, like, underneath them are shifting and moving. And before you can do anything, suddenly, like, the book starts, the pages just fly open, and a swarm of bookworms just fly out. It's at happening, things. Alex. Oh, God. Uh... So it's it's just a simple pain three to to swat the bookworms away from you. But all right, we roll discipline and then the one exhaustion, correct? Yes. Yeah, four. All right, you succeeded, but pain dominated again. Jeez. <laughs> Got a paper cut. Paper cuts. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So yeah, you. you just, God, I gotta. I gotta start spending these coins here soon. Or don't. I don't, I don't know that I've gotten this many coins playing this game before. Like, <laughs> just, just to be clear, I'm we notoriously I'm roll bad, very bad or very well in these modules. Um, it's true. So yeah, so the, they they just all kind of like splay it out, and you're able to get them off. And as they hit the ground, they just kind of hiss and just melt away um and as they do so it looks like they're like yeah, I hiss made back of at them ink. like like they like they they form like almost like the ink from the book and it, as you look closer suddenly the book is blank there's no words in it okay how about yeah let's not open books. another book yeah well i don't know if there's anything else this Shh. whatever place you hear echoing around. across the library. Let's... How about we leave? Yeah, let's sneak out of here. Yes. Okay. All right. Should try to find my apartment. Yeah. At this point, sure. All right. We try to sneak out. Huh? Yeah. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing uh, stops you. You can head right back to the door, and it opens freely. And. All right, the the cops have to be gone now. Um, I mean, there's no compass rose on this, right? Even if there was, how would we know? I guess. Yeah, no, there's not. Um, the compass well, points in eight different directions. You said so. It was the two corners. Yeah. Like. Uh, our the basically what we're thinking is possibly the real world is in you know one corner and then the opposite one is this book or uh, this book symbol yep okay awesome so the upper the upper left hand is is that and the bottom uh right hand is the uh um book yeah well any suggestions Do we just wander around hoping to fill in more symbols yeah, to I triangulate we, i think we go into as much as i don't want to yeah i think we go to my apartment 
and see what? it. Because, well, the apartment was in the uh, the map. We're just basically going where all the map showed us, right? We don't know well, where it is in relation, yeah, the, right? The, okay. the picture was of Seattle, but with your apartment in it, and um, it doesn't match up with anything you've seen, though. Like, it's, it's a totally different picture huh. um, than what you've seen once being deposited into the map city. Then we can still try and go back to where we were, see if anything pops up. That's better than what I have, so yeah, let's try it. All right, I we go or as we make our way back out to the street, does it seem like all the cops are gone? Um, yes and no. So you you uh, mm. as you head out there, the um, buildings and everything is bathed in a red and blue flashing light, and you can hear a commotion coming from the bazaar. But there's none in the immediate vicinity. So right. they're nearby, but they're not, like, right well, there. So. And we're going to be going the opposite direction, so. Okay. Away from the bazaar. Okay. Back to uh, where I guess this all started. Like, near the, which is near the police station, though, so. Right, right. Um, yeah, so, again, it's just, there's still kind of this red and blue light, flashing light that bathes the area. Um, you can't. You don't really spot anything that's specifically like causing it. Um, but think like a uh, like in video games, if you do something like in I guess GTA or whatever, and like the mini map suddenly starts going blue and red, blue and red, yeah. blue and red. That same kind of a thing just washing over everything. All right. Uh, beyond that, so at the uh, as you head back out into the street or that to that street, I should say, um, nothing really sticks out. But you do notice a uh, taxi cab just pulled over on the side of the road, and there's a man also in that same kind of muted colors, just kind of sitting there reading a newspaper. Maybe he knows where the stuff is on here. Sure. Let's ask him. Uh, hello, right. sir. Excuse me. Um, yeah, and he, he he rolls down the window. Yes, can I, um, uh, need a ride? Uh, perhaps. We're, we're trying to find, um, the location on this map. I was hoping you could at least point us in the right direction. Hmm. I can, uh, I can try. All right. Any motions for you to hold the map out to him? If Alex right. does, so. Yeah. Hmm. I can't say that I I recognize that, but um, and he puts his finger on the uh, picture of the book. Have you tried the library? Oh well, yes. It just kind of taps. Uh, we I just came think from. We there. were just there. We're trying to get to the other one. The other library? No, the other picture. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure that I know exactly where it's at, but um, if you don't mind, if you're just trying to look around, if you don't mind, I could uh, just drive you around the city and see if anything pops oh, up. Yeah, but everything comes at a cost. What, what do we uh, oh, have yes, to pay here? No one, no one does li uh, make a living by charity work what what would you charge us well it depends on how far we go and he just kind of points to a sign on the back and you know it says uh this many wax uh <laughs> coins to get in okay, um, good. and good. you know for the first yes, yes. so many miles and it just increases in wax coins uh, you want to ride with him alex i honestly don't know what I want. So is that a yes or a no? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Alright. Let's do it. Alright. We'll take you up on your offer, yes. Alright, good, good. Alright, just hop on in. Any motions for you to jump into the back seat? Alright, get in. Oh. Be sure to give you five stars on Spook, bro. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Bink. Um. 
so he, uh, as he uh, he begins to drive and is making small talk with you, so uh, all right, you so entertain him. I'll keep fun. watching the map. Yeah. So, so how, you... how much oh. business do you get in a day? <laughs> Thirteen hours. That must be a, a very long time to work. Eh, it's not bad. It's it's a living. What are you supposed to do for 13 hours a day anyway, right? Oh, uh, you know, wander, wander around, try not to get murdered. Oh, such is a life. And he laughs like you made a joke. <laughs> but it's a very, like, like, it's a very muted laugh. Yeah, one. yeah, it's funny. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, uh, what do you, what do you two do for a living? I'm uh, I'm between jobs right now. Yeah, same. Ah. Well, I don't, I don't know what I do, actually. <laughs> what would you call it? I don't know. I, I've worked with my hands. Uh, always good to see, to meet a uh, carpenter. Uh, yes. Skilled. Uh, skilled worksman. Um, so as this goes on, Alex, you notice that slowly fading in is, um, a picture of a road, like, from the point of view, like, from a driver's seat, so you see, like, like the steering wheel at the bottom of the picture, mm. and it looks like there's a bridge, a suspension bridge that the car is about to drive over. Uh, are we coming up on a bridge anytime soon? Uh, I mean, a large. Yeah, I can... I could head. Bridge? I could head down that way. You want? Sure. You're interested in going down to Kings? Kings? Yep. Oh, why do they call it that? It's a know, very just... regal name. Uh, I mean, Important. you know, it's. Yes. I don't know that I'd call it regal, but uh, I don't know. It's just the name of the borough. And so he turns the vehicle at the next stoplight and heads in another direction. So, uh, what what business do y'all have in Kings? Uh, the treasure. Mm -hmm. We're between yep. jobs. With, we're trying to hit it big. Ah. This map is going to lead us there. Oh, it's a treasure map. Why didn't you say so? Yeah, you ever heard of uh, uh what's it called? When you Look for clues around town. Investigate? No, no, it's it's like a game. Uh, scavenger hunt. Scavenger hunt. Thank you, Alex. Oh. Well, just make sure that you're not scavenged by the hunters, then. And he like gives like a true like raucous laughter from the front seat. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh, we'll make sure of that. <laughs> Pull up my car, my shirt. <laughs> Suddenly you feel the car braking, and um, as you look up through the front window, the car is perfectly parked at the exact position that the map had shown. Uh, I think this is our next destination. I think the universe is playing tricks on us. Alright, well, that'll be uh, any... It'll be five five wax. Uh, here you go. Drop. Yeah, you, you happen to have the five wax in your pocket. Uh, and so he uh, uh, takes it and waits for you all patiently to uh, um, leave his vehicle. And then uh, drives off. Goodbye. Well, you see a nice like to joke. Yeah. Oh. What does the map say now? Same right. thing? Uh, it just shows the same three images. Let's maybe walk around here. Take a look-see. Let's do it. Alright. Um, so as you look around... Um, Again, you see more buildings. There's a few like eateries, a, a little like shop type deal. 
Um, and uh, you see another building that has um, two giant doors reminiscent of the other doors you saw. Oh. But instead of a giant griffin on it, it has uh, a raven. And this ra- it, it, instead of being of oak, these seem to be of like an ebon wood. Let's just go in. But maybe not touch anything. Okay. I can get behind that. <laughs> so as you open the door, um, y- you again are greeted by a, a space that's larger on the inside than what it shows on the outside. Um, but the way that the bookshelves are around you, again, it has bookshelves and books, but it kind of prevents you from seeing much farther in. You just get the sense of depth that you did from the other building. All right, maybe I don't know. Should we look around more now or intently? I uh, I don't know. Is there a clue here? You supposed to get something? I don't understand. Let's see. So as the as you guys go in, the doors just kind of slowly shut behind you of their own accord. Oh, um, good. Yeah, that's uh, very welcoming. And so, looking around, I, is there anyone here? Nope. Um, but you do see at where one of the reading tables ahead of you. Um, there seems to be a couple chairs that have been like scooted closer towards the table. Uh, or like um um like lazy boy chairs like really comfortable chairs that have been scooched around this low table and there is a a book that's just sitting there open no oh. well that one's already open does it have any words on it it does not but it does have one symbol on it um it looks like a uh, kind of stylized image of a spider um, done in red and blue colors. <laughs> uh, Do you recognize um, it, Alex? No. I mean, I assume I don't. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how to... It's kind of... So one of the things about the game is without having skills, sometimes it's hard to say, like, just roll me a Lord, right? Chat because, <laughs> um, well, I poke the book and get ready to jump back. <laughs> it sits there. Okay, spider didn't jump out at me. Nope. Um, close the book. It closes. Anything on the front or the? Or... Um, you still see that same in uh, uh, sigil is like on the cover of the book. And then I fan through some pages. It's just just that on every page or something. More or less. Sometimes it's stylized differently. Um, but then every few pages, you'll actually see a, a image of a stylized image of like the um, uh, what's it called, the Virtuin Man or whatever the uh, the mm. um, Da Vinci's like guy that's standing oh, there. Oh yeah. Arms, um, Perfect. And legs. Uh... But it, it's again, it kind of has the same stylization, and like in the margins and stuff, it'll have like sometimes webbing or other like spider iconography to kind of dress it up. But it seems to be almost like just a book full of these kind of pictures, huh? And I look back at the map, and it looks like the book in the picture has a spider on it. Oh. So not a new symbol, but the one we already saw has changed. Great. Right. This is great. Right. That was I was just saying that out loud. Oh, sorry, sorry. Jurgen. Mm, can we take it with us, you think? I don't will see them stopping of, us. More of the book will fill in, perhaps? Like as the map does. Uh I would really enjoy maybe getting one complete thing to help us, but 
instead of something we have to wait for to decide when to help us over time. Um, I, I mean, there doesn't seem to be anything else here other than just more books, which could be filled with God knows what. I'll pick another random one. Are you ready to check out, my dears? Oh, God. Okay. And there's this little, tiny little crone of a woman standing behind you. Can you tell me what this is? Just hold it up. The book. Oh, you're interested in the Spider-Man. <sighs> God damn it. The Spider-Man? <laughs> the web slinger? Did I just kill Mal? <laughs> <laughs> I, when you first described it, I was laughing because of the picture you shared yeah. in Discord. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what does... Uh, is this a comic book? Uh, no, no, no. This is... This is a very adult novel, young man. But uh, if you want the graphic novels, I can point you to where they are. Is there? She like affix her glasses back on her nose that are slowly slipping down. Is there something you do with this special adult novel? Uh, you read it. But there are no words. Well, words are not the only way to read, are they? You can read a person's face, can't you? You could read into someone's statement. <sighs> All right, I assume... Sure, we'll take it. You know what? What does it cost? Oh, we don't... It's not for sale, darling. You just need to check it out. I'll just need to see your library card. I reach into my pocket. <laughs> no, there's a library card. And pull out my wallet. Uh, does do I have anything in it that looks like a library card? I don't, would Would you have had a library card? Probably not. Who uses the library these days? <laughs> People that don't have money to buy books. I mean, um, well, if you hmm. if you need one, I can I can set you up with an account. Just just follow me, dearies. And she just kind of slowly shuffles. Oh God! Down. Now what is this going to cost? I'm going to follow, and I'm going to be slightly behind Jurgen. <laughs> After going Let's through a few, a few of the um, bookshelves, she leads you to a giant desk, um, and uh, it's overlooking a balcony. And you realize you're on a, you're a couple floors up, um, and you can actually see the door that you came in earlier down there. And we haven't gone up any stairs. Nope. Awesome. Um, and so she goes behind the counter and. Let, let, let me see here. And she, like, kind of starts flipping through um, this, like, old-fashioned Rolodex, but uh, it, like, like she spins it, and it spins for more than, more pages than it can really hold, and then it finally flips from A to B, you know, type deal. So, like, there's, like, a lot. And so just just kind of keeps going at it and finally plucks out. Here we go. All right, let's see. And she adjusts her glasses. Patterson, uh, the Spider-Man, and today's date, and and then she grabs a little stamp. What is the date? I'm I'm sorry. I'm the thirteenth. Yes, thirteen thirteen. Inconsequential. I'm just kind of like cares. give Alex an odd look. I just shrug. I'm like, I already have my name. What? I don't even know. And and you, Mr. Schuler, do you need a card as well? Uh, I I speak Maybe... I speak English, but I don't read it. I'm sorry. 
Oh, that's Maybe fine. And she she spins the Rolodex again till it gets to the S's and plucks one out. Schuler, okay. Jurgen. Here you go. And she hands it out. To Doc, Sean. Let's leave. Yeah, let, let's go. I hope you enjoy your book. Goodbye, creepy old lady. Thank you. Goodbye, creepy man. <laughs> Well, keep getting things. Paper. And a paper guy was killed. Maybe... Maybe we should ask everyone else or some other people if they've read about... Read the Spider-Man? Perhaps they could tell us what it's about. Uh, um, it's a possibility. A lot of paper keeps popping up. Maybe we should find wax, ink. It's a very paper theme. Mm. Going on here. Um, well, I'm going, all right, can I, I, oh, I don't know, here, you take this, I hand him the map. Right, thank you. I'm going to look over the book some more. Um, I mean, I guess I can just, should I try using my talent on it, I guess? Uh, yeah, if you'd like to. Go for it. Um, You're just looking for more clues in there? Yeah. Okay. If you were using a, a minor usage of it, you do not have to increase your um, exhaustion. Okay. Or if you want to use a major, you, you can, and then get that many more successes added. Uh, um, but it's going to get uh, be a pain five. Jeez. Uh, go with... You know what? Let's go with major. Okay. So, we'll so I exhaustion. now rolled five. Yep, you now roll five, and you have a minimum of two successes. Oops. All right, my exhaustion do uh, is a six. So, and I got two, Pain three, six. four, four successes. Okay, and um, I got four as well, um, but. You, your, so your exhaustion dominated, because exhaustion yeah. uh, beats pain. Ah. Uh. Er, yes. Yeah, because equal amount of success. Yeah. Okay. Um. In which case, let's see when exhaustion dominates, uh, you increase your exhaustion by one, so you're now at exhaustion three. Awesome. But you gain, as you said, you had four, and I had four, so you do actually gain a clue. Um, you as you're reading into it, despite the fact that again it's just these images and iconography and no words are actually expressed, you get the idea um, that maybe you can find help by asking your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. <laughs> <sighs> All right. I don't know where. Can you help me, book? Well, what do you need help with? Okay. Uh, <laughs> the book home. is talking? Seattle, uh, wherever he's from, I'll take anywhere. That's not here. Hmm. Quite a complex quest you seek. Um. Have you tried asking your... No, no, you, you have not. Just, uh... Our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man? Yeah. But. Do you just call for him? How do you ask him questions? I, I thought the book was going to be the Spider-Man. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because that is a perfectly legitimate answer that I should have <laughs> gone with. Um. Well. Hello, Spider-Man. You just need to. Uh, Find where all of the webs lead. Oh. What webs? Oh. I don't see any webs. And like, as you say that, and as you're just kind of there, like suddenly you notice, like, in back one of the alleyways, there's like a very thin, almost hard to see, like, spider web, but that's like human-sized, just filling this alleyway. 
or the entryway to the outer It's the Spider-Man eating the newspaper, boys. What? Oh, mm -hmm. heavens no. No, uh, that was the coupon cutter. Is that the yeah. spider? Is the Spider-Man hate the coupon cutter? Uh, they've they've been known to uh, have their tussles now and again. All right. So Follow if we this. get in trouble with the coupon cutter, the Spider-Man might come and help us. Yes. That could work too. Or maybe he's looking for the Spider-Man too, and we can follow the webs and find him. Let's follow these webs. All right, let's do that. Okay. So, uh... I like you, Book. You're pretty. You're pretty you... all right. That's you hold them. All right. Here, let, you take the map back. All right. Is the map still the same? Um, no, actually, in that last quadrant you see um, a webbing drawn on a piece of paper. Hmm. Well. So almost like a like a like a leaf out of the book, like but not. Like it's hmm. you know, just draw like it's a, like a its own piece of paper just sitting there with the web drawn on it. Okay. <sighs> um so yeah, uh, you guys head into the webs, um, or into the alleyway, excuse me, with the with the webs. As you push past, like, you get, like, this, there's this weird kind of, like, sticky sensation you get as you brush up against any oh, of the webs. Oh, that's disgusting. Um, and as you walk down this alleyway, um, just the webs, like, get thicker and thicker. Like, you know, um... Like a, like a, a funnel web spider, how they kind of like dig tunnels and then have like the webbing kind of go yeah. all the way across it. That's what this tunnel looks like, or that this alleyway looks like. Um, it just has all of these cool. webs just cool. densely packed. Cool, cool, cool. So Be end careful to avoid spider. those. Hello, Spider Man. Are Friendly. You here? Spider-Man? Yes, not the, not the non-friendly not... one. <laughs> yeah. Well, what have I here? Here, just kind of echoing. Uh, Some people who are lost. We have um, a book. Told us to find you. You could help us find Seattle. Yeah. Seattle. The lost land that sunk beneath the sea. Yeah, that one. I guess. Mm. And then, like, from behind you, you hear this kind of just soft landing sound. Um, and in the shadows, you make out this uh, shadow of a giant spider. Mm. Please don't eat me, Spider-Man. <sighs> Can you help us? We're running low on facts. Um, sure I could, but what's in it for me? He asks as he approaches. We could, One uh... Of those small lights that uh, have been, you know, in the alleyway that are covered over by the webs start to illuminate him, and you can make him out more. Um, the body is like, like a giant spider, you know, hairy spider, you know, you know, every giant spider always ends up being tarantula-like, yeah. like that kind of thing. But then where the eyes should be, you see the, um, from waist up of a man. Hmm. Well... Um, we could help you find the coupon cutter, perhaps? Oh, you would do that for I mean, he is killing people. That sounds like something that needs to be taken care of, yeah? People? Oh, no, no. He's he's just tending to... Paper boys? Yes. Why does he not like paper boys? He He's just doing his, his civic duty of... Uh, his civic duty, keeping, that's what they call it now. Keeping the in check. Is the news spreading lies? Oh no, no, the news, the news can't do that. I mean, it can't. 
Y'all, y'all do know what, about the news, right? What it is? I'm gonna go with no. No. Well, it's reporting on the truth. And even if it's not the truth, isn't it? Doesn't it just become the truth once the media reports it as so? Yeah. Well. So you can see by manipulating these these newsboys, the coupon cutter manipulates the truth. That's where we have problems. Well, we would be help be happy to help you spread the truth to get back to our uh, Seattle. Yeah. Mm. How do we? Uh, what do we have to do to help you with the the coupon cutter? Tell you what, if you can just find him. Flag me down. The book will tell you how. I'll take care of the rest. Alright. So all we have to do is find a newsy outfit, yeah? Uh, maybe. Or some newspapers. Spread them around. To try to sell them. <laughs> Something. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I have, Alex. Um... I mean, you do have the one copy of the newspaper. Oh, yeah, we do. All right. That hasn't changed, has it? The story now that's on the cover now reads, Officer Talk Enraged, Suspects Still at Large. Mm. Yeah, the, he wants to get us, I think. We could find a awesome. street corner, say extra, extra, read all about it. See who comes after us. I don't know. Well, scurry on then, and um, while you're figuring that out, he essentially just kind of leaves here. Right. Gotcha. You know, we'll go back out to where we were, I guess. Um. Oh man, I got. I don't know. Um. How do we find him when the cops haven't? Uh, maybe he avoids the cops. He's good at hiding. Hmm. Maybe sure he's looking for us. What? How do we be sure that he will look for us? Yeah. I mean, I don't even know... Hmm. We could try and find some other newsies. S stay around with them? Yeah. He'll rear his face eventually. That's not... I don't know how long that might take. And how, how much longer do we have till the 13th hour is over? If that even means anything. Mm. Well, oh, yes, the 13th hour does. Um, <laughs> the only way to get the the, uh, the book is um, speaking to you. Oh. Um, the, yeah, it, it does. No, it, it, once the 13th hour has completed, then you'll have to wait till the next if to get back to the slumbering city. Awesome. <sighs> or, well, at least that's where I kind of guess the uh, lost city of Seattle might be. I don't, what do I know? I'm just a book. <laughs> Well, you're going I think we find those newsies, yeah. There was one, I mean... Well, one, one dies, another mean... will come back, yeah. Possibly. They seem fairly uh, keen on doing their job. Might be cops around the bazaar, though, still. Well, we don't have to get their attention. All we have to do is wait for the coupon cutter, yeah? Well, 
You can just hide. We, we are pretty good at that. Yeah. I guess we head in that direction? Let's go. Okay. Um, I'm assuming you're going to flag down another taxi. Um, <laughs> sure. Do we have the money still? Uh, I'm going to say yes, just for ease of play and All right. not worrying about it. Sure. <laughs> That's what we do. Alright. Um, so the taxi man takes you back to the... Um, um, in fact, mm -hmm. it happens to be the same taxi man, or it seems to be anyway. I'll ask him about Spider-Man and the coupon cutter. And their eternal war. Oh, I wouldn't say war. It's more of... Um, every so often they don't agree with each other on the uh, perception of media. I remember one time when... Uh, the uh, newsboys tried to uh, spread that the that the Spider Man was a bad guy. That was uh, that was pretty comical. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's a little bit of life lost, sure, but it doesn't uh, seem that bad a... to me. Oh well, I mean, he, as long as you're not uh... a bug. Yeah, we'll just say that. That's all I have for you. Okay. So, um, yeah. So if you guys don't have anything else to ask the uh, taxi, yeah. brings you back um, and deposits you by the uh, the park, more or less where you guys popped out at. First entered the city. The cool. blue and red is um, the lights are still kind of flashing over the area, but they're they're less intense. Not muted in the same way everything else is. It's just like as if there's less of those lights. All right, let's mm. look around for a newsy or a newsboy or paperboy. That's what they're called. And hopefully, no cops. Um, I am going to say we're going to need another roll to find them while avoiding the cops. All right. And this is going to be a pain six, but you guys can help each other. All right. I guess I'll roll. You can sure. help. I got two. Oh, good. Good. We got three, four. All right, you guys both succeed, and, um, well... I get more tired. Yeah, exhaustion did dominate. Oh, baby, did it. <laughs> Getting little bags under your yeah. eyes, Alex, so you feeling yeah. sleepy. I could use some more coffee or, I don't know, something... As you're looking Ooh. around, you, uh, uh, instead of heading back the way you did before, you, you can see, like, there's almost like a shuffling inkscape that, like, leads. Or not inkscape, but, like, 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 footprints. Like, almost like somebody had, like, ink on the bottom of their shoes yeah. and kind of scuffed. Yeah. And so, like, and eventually you find one of the newsboys, uh, standing on a corner. As he sees you, he holds up a newspaper. Excuse me, sirs. Would you would you care for a um um? I need I need to make a sale, please. Please. Uh, we've already got one. Yeah. Perhaps you're looking to buy. <laughs> is that is that an update? Is that an updated edition, though, sirs? Uh, it's the thirteenth hour. Yeah. Thirteenth hour edition. Hmm. Well, alright. Why do you need to make a sale so much? Well, it's my job, sir. And mm -hmm. I haven't yet. And, I mean, truth be told, I, I kind of want to make my sales for, 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 for the hours so that way I can get back to the, um, Back to the news house. Uh, things aren't very safe 
on the streets. Well, yeah, no, I can say they that. Don't seem to be. Uh, what if we could uh, use your help, and then I would buy that paper from you? Yeah. Oh, y sure, certainly, certainly. We kind of need you to be a um uh, decoy. Yeah. Oh. For the dangerous stuff. Look, if you do this, I'll buy a, a newspaper from you every day. Um, um, what does it entail? And you can see, like, he's visibly shaken. Uh, like, like the, the ink goes from, like, black to almost, like, a gray as he's, like, like almost his version of losing color yeah. in his face. Um, Don't worry, I'm sure Jurgen can keep you safe. Yeah, the Spider-Man's going to show up and fight, too, I think. He promised us he'd help. Uh, the, the, wait, the, Spider-Man? Is that what yeah. you say? Yeah, Spider-Man. Oh no! Oh oh no! Oh no 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 no! It's it's the coupon. No 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 no! It's the coup coupon cutter, isn't it? Yeah, it involves the coupon cutter. No, we're, no, we're going no, to get no. rid of him once and for all. He can be no, a part of that. No. no, I can't. No, no, and he like throws his newspapers and runs down one of the alleys. All right. Uh, grab a newspaper and follow. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> no sense in if wasting If we have that. to, we'll sell him ourselves. Um, let's go after him. Since, yep, you know, let's chase him. Because a uh, lone newsboy in an alley doesn't seem like bait. I don't know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, so running down the alley... Um, you see him uh, pinned up against uh, the um, wall, and standing before him is this dog. But instead of a head, there's a needle sharp pin, or a, a, like a sewing needle that has replaced its head. And you see like a thin spool of thread that goes to where his tail would be. And this the spool is like at the base of his um, where his tail would be, and then the rest of the thread goes off and then just kind of ends. And it's currently using its head to sew the uh, newsboy in place on the wall. Okay, stop. Yeah, uh, creepy dog. Uh. Are you the coupon cutter? The boy's just like sobbing in tears, and the dog just kind of looks up at you. Um, and you can see it's definitely getting into an aggressive stance. Uh, is there anything around me that I would like to throw it at the dog? The bone. Uh, yeah, there's definitely like a um, little potted plant. There's a. Uh, um, you know, just, just kind of general stuff that you would see um, in a city. You know, there's like a bicycle. There, I mean, I'm really... I will throw it all. <laughs> okay. I'll just keep um, throwing it until I run out of stuff to throw. So, as you, um, I'm going to, so. Do, do, do. We're going to say to throw it, he, you can roll, um, I'm just gonna roll to throw, and he. I'm gonna roll his pain to dodge. He's a pain three, um, huh. so that's what his dodge value essentially will be. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so Holy and, moment. Uh, exhaustion. So discipline dominates. Oh, um, be great. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, or... Yeah, discipline would dominate. Okay. Yeah. Um, so as you throw whatever item you do, you are able to hit him, um, but at the cost of before he's able to be hit um, enough times to kind of knock him down, he begins to howl, and you can hear the baying of more of these needle-nosed dogs. Um, no. Spider-Man! Uh... I'll help him throw stuff to try to silence the dog. Get the paper boy. Which which of those are you doing? What? 
Uh, just so I get rid of the dog to then get the vapor boy. So. So you're throwing uh, something else at him. Yeah. Okay. Rolling four d six. Yeah, only two. I too got two. Um, so you succeed, and uh, in this case, it would be uh, pain dominated because one of your successes is an exhaustion. Yeah. Oh. Awesome. Okay. Um. Actually, what I'm gonna do is instead of doing that, where did that go? There it is. Um, instead of doing that, I'm actually going to spend one of my coins to make your exhaustion dominate. Oh, okay. So your exhaustion is going to go up by one, nice. but you still succeed. Got it. And you guys now have a hope coin in the coffer. Okay. Um, but yeah, so uh, you definitely, as you hit it, the dog and hits the ground and just kind of shudders and stops. All right, come on, paper boy. Yeah, I'll get start him down him. or something. So he is very well um, woven into the uh, wall. It's going to take some time to try to free him. And you can hear the baying of the other dogs coming closer. We leave him as a sacrifice. Mm. What do we do? You think Spider Man will save him? <laughs> Probably not. But Spider Man, I I'll try to call Spider Man. I, I'm. I'm kind of a big deal. You should probably help me, Spider Man. Can I use truth <laughs> to the rumors, madness, talent? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, uh, if you're going to use the talent, want some madness. Um, so since you are, tr so how are you, how are you specifically using truth to the rumors? That you are a big deal and yeah. If you if you save us and save the boy, I can help you out. Okay. Um, I can help uh, clear your name. They'll listen to me. I'm on the news all the time. I'm going to say because you've already made a deal with him. Um, it only takes a, two madness dice to do so. Okay. So you're going to roll three. your three discipline, your two exhaustion, and your two madness. Alright, so seven all together. It's going to be six. Only two successes. <laughs> I only got one success. Nice. But and you also your, got um, an exhaustion. Dominated? No, or, his, which one's up there? I think exhaustion. Oh wait, it? sorry, I went yeah. the wrong direction. Yeah, discipline dominated. Yeah. Um, discipline. So because discipline dominated, um, you can uh, decrease your exhaustion by one. Yeah, let's do oh, that. Nice. All right. So yeah, you're. As you do so, uh, you say it out and just you hear this kind of exasperated, I'm here, I, I know what's going on in my city. And out of the shadows creeps the um, um, Spider-Man. Can't you help us fight the dogs or something? I need to take care of the dogs, but where's... You were going to bring me coupon cutter. Where's the coupon cutter? <laughs> We're waiting on... If we can get the paper boy, then we can get well, coupon cutter. Well, you seem cutter. to have him. Yeah, that's why we need you to fight off the dog so we can get him down. Please? <sighs> Alright. Okay. Hmm. And he kind of disappears into the darkness as he goes towards the baying of the hounds. Alright, let's get the kid down. It's going to be a pain for to free him from the woven trap. All right, so All right. now I'm rolling I six dots, will... correct? Uh, or you are currently four. rolling four. four, and I will help with my three. No. Oh, <laughs> Mal got one. I you got, got one. one. So uh, and discipline dominates. Uh, discipline dominates, and you guys are able to get him down. So because discipline dominates, you both are able to lower your exhaustion by one. Yeah. yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> um. Oh, you. 
All right. We should probably not stick around here, though. No, nah, no. All right, let's take the kid. Uh, no, no, I don't. No, I don't. I don't. Shh, shh. It's okay. Spider-Man's helping us. But he's, he's, he's coming. He's coming for me now. Thanks to you jerks, he's coming for me. We're going to protect you, don't worry. It's like, you like you won't have to worry about the coupon. Yeah, we're you uh, won't have to worry about the coupon cutter if you just stay with us and not run away again. Yeah, we could have just left you there. Then okay. he most certainly would have got you, and you'd most certainly be dead. Um. How do you know he's coming? Because okay. he is. He always comes, right? <laughs> do you have a sense? Do you know where he is right now? No! So I'm asking. Yes. Alright, let's go... I don't know. Somewhere secluded, I guess. We don't want cops around, right? Yeah, no cops. We no know cops? this city pretty well. No. What would be the best place? No, For no cops? That's like... That's just asking for him to appear. Yeah, that's what we want. You have to trust us. Okay, this way. And he ducks down um, a small path that eventually leads to a um, like a fire escape. Hmm. And he goes running up to uh, up the fire escape. Alright. We're gonna follow him. Let's go. So, uh, when you get to the top, um, you're you, you are greeted by like almost like a shanty town made atop the roofs um small buildings made from like leftover uh corrugated metal rooftop type deals um uh in one spot it looks like like the wreckage of a plane or something has become like a home um and you see the uh, paper boy is just running down the uh uh through the rooftops essentially Follow. Say what? Said I follow him. Okay. Um. All right. Yeah. So he, eventually he he stops. So this should be. In fact, he stops in front of the um um crashed plane building house thing. This this should be good. Excellent. I think. Now, what can you tell us about what the uh, coupon cutter does? Well, it's, you're not going to like it. It's kind of graphic. Mm. But, well, he, he cuts the coupon out of you and just leaves you there for your ink to run dry. He's not going to cut any coupon out of me or you. How or do you Alex. know? How do you know? I don't have any coupons. It's horrifying, yes? But that doesn't help me. How does that help me? It means that we can focus on him while he's focusing on you. Okay, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense, that makes sense. Now just hawk your newspapers as usual. No, I don't have any birds. <laughs> what? <laughs> you told him to hawk his newspapers. Oh. S sell your newspapers. It's a uh, colloquialism. Okay. okay. Um. And he starts like waving, waving uh, a newspaper in the air. Um trying to call for people it doesn't take very long um you see like in some of the buildings like shutters are being shut and silence is what little sound there was get grows even quieter on these rooftops and to the point where you can only hear him and no other sounds of the city and as you do so there's you begin to get this sense of dread at the bottom of your stomach like like there's a thing that you just can't quite perceive
Well, maybe we should we, we go. Let's, uh, maybe hide a bit. Yeah. At least so it looks like he's all by himself. Oh, what? What's hot? Okay. Yeah, you guys can like duck inside the um the plane, or whatever. Yeah. Like hide around the edge of it or whatever. Um. So, uh, as you guys are watching, um, you begin to hear like this metal kind of clack, 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 as um as a metal on metal. Um, slowly approaching. Mm. And then you begin to see it. It's almost like a, a giant pair of scissors is walking towards you. Dead set. Like, it, like, it's like, it doesn't have a face or anything, but it's like, dead focused on the newsboy. What's the newsboy right. doing? Um, read... Re, re. I need right. like, like he's so fearful, like he's not even able to fully get a statement out. All right, book. This is her. her... What do we do, book? How do we fight it? The book's quiet. Her. Oh, the book's gonna get cut up too. We just Does need to have... get the Spider-Man here again. Does it have anything on the pages? Oh uh, yeah, it's all the same stuff from before. Oh, right? Spider-Man, come on. Yeah? He's here. No sign of the Spider-Man. Mm. You think the dog's got him? And what are we doing here? Uh... What is nearby? Is there a rock? Because rock beats scissors. <laughs> Anything made of stone. <laughs> I was gonna say there's a cinder block, but I can't. I you appeal to me. I cannot bypass. There's <laughs> a rock on top. There is definitely a rock up there. Okay, I'm gonna grab the rock and use it as a blunt object. Okay. Hel Hello, coupon cutter. Uh, you're very freaky and scary. Yeah. Um. Come whoa, here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! And he like kind of backs up. Whoa! What are you doing? Going to beat you up with this rock. Why are you killing newspaper boys? What? No, don't. No, wait, what? No, I'm, I'm trying to help you. How? Yes, everyone's trying to help us, yeah. Have you not been reading the newspaper? Do you even... You don't read the newspaper, do you? We've read it. So you've seen that Officer Talk is after you? Yes. Right. So if I stop them from printing, he shouldn't be after you anymore. Why would you do that? How does it help us get home, though, to Seattle? Oh, I, I don't... I'm... You think I care about you getting home? I'm just seeing you safe. I'm about tired of this reign of evil that the newsboys have presented upon this city. I don't know who to trust, Alex. I don't either. Spider-Man said he could get us home. Spider-Man? <laughs> that man spins webs of lies all day long. But he's friendly. Well, of course. So is the butcher as he takes the pig into slaughter. Spiders catch more flies with honey than vinegar. I don't know how that saying goes. It's something like that. And the coupon cutter like just kind of like waves a, a blade of his scissors. <sighs> what do we do here? I don't know. I just want to go home. You said you'd save me. You said you'd save me. Yeah, we did. We're... Look, don't kill, the... don't kill the newsboy. It's not his fault. He's not the one printing the stories, yeah. You got a point. What if we took out the newspaper itself? He could find a new job. Yeah. 
No, he could. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. As long as you just keep me alive, please, 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 please. And he's like, like hiding behind you now, the little news he is. Well, where did they print the paper coupon cutter? Why have you not... If this is such a problem, why have you not taken them out at the source? I am but one scissor. One pair of scissors? <laughs> well, anyway. together we make three. <laughs> yes. Yes, we do. But how does this help us get home? Hmm. I don't know. We see if Spider-Man is true to his word. Yeah. How? We protect the newsboys, but take out the newspaper. Stop the corruption and the spread of it. That's what Spider-Man wanted too, yeah? Did he? I think he wanted people to stop dying. I honestly don't know. You hear the, the, the book begins to speak up. Are you really going to listen to those scissors? Those scissors <laughs> are the enemy of us paper folk. Where were you? <laughs> well... In your, in, in your hands, of course. I've been here the whole time. And how does the Spider-Man get here? Look, we have to help them settle the differences, y'all. Yeah? The Spider-Man and the giant scissors. Spider-Man, he's here. It's time we all work this out together. Yeah? You hear the uh, uh, small chittering, and from the side of the wall, the Spider-Man just kind of comes up. Ah, yes. Yes. See that you you two are true to your word. Yes. And at this point, the, uh, the newsy just breaks and runs. He's yeah, fun. That's tracks. fun. So, how do we get home? Well, probably just uh, try going back to sleep. I thought I was asleep. No, no, this is this is the city that never sleeps, says the uh, coupon cutter. How do we get to sleep? Just kinda, the Spider-Man just kind of laughs. How do we get to sleep? That's the question, isn't it? Find a bed? <laughs> Well, this has been fruitful. I'm going to... And I run. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hi. Alex. Hi. If we find the cop, will that put us to sleep? Do you think? Are, are you running with... Um, no, I'm, I'm not. Oh, you're asking them if yeah. you find the cop. Uh, no. No, I would not recommend that. Then what, the, uh, what do we... Cutter informs you. Then what do we have to do to get to sleep? I don't know, man. And then the spider's like, well, don't you have a map? Uh, I think Alex had the map. <laughs> There you go. Okay, I have to just start running after Alex then. Okay. Alex, the map, the map, the map is the answer. I uh, yell, trying to chase him down. His flight is faster than mine, though, so. Or higher than mine. Uh, well, it's not so much a stat I as mean, much as how many times you would. Oh, okay, react gotcha. That way. Yeah. After. I mean. If it doesn't look like anyone's following me, I'll, you know, stop. <laughs> so Alex stops and Jurgen, you come up to him, shouting your... Yeah, the, the, map, map, the map, map, the map, look at the map. I look at the map. 
in the center of the map, there is, like, an old-fashioned, um, uh, oh, what do you call it? Like, at a fork in the roads, like, where it's, like, a post and it has two arrows, like, pointing yeah, down. It's like a one. sign. No, yeah, yeah. signpost. There we go, yeah. yeah. But on, on one, it says, um, sleep, and it points down, and it's pointing towards the, um, uh, or I guess pointing up to your home. Mm -hmm. And then the other one says, uh, to be, uh, uh, awake, and then it points to the book. So we go home. To my apartment, yeah. Sure. Alright, let's go. Um. Yeah, okay. Whatever. I should <laughs> have a weird. couch or something you can sleep on. I mean, I, we can't find your home. Isn't that the whole point? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get back there. You have any ideas, Book? Why is this? Why is awake pointing to you? Well, I mean, you can keep reading and find out. He offers weakly. I'm going to cut you apart. You don't give me more. No, 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 don't, don't do that, don't do that, you'll get, you'll, <laughs> I mean, come on, let's, 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 let's not be hasty now, I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to get the librarian mad now, would you? I mean, apparently we're making everyone mad, what's one more person? Well, I mean, I mean, uh, 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 come on, man, talk, talk some sense into your friend, uh, 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 I don't know, his idea is sounding pretty good now, to be quite honest. Okay. You can't be serious. Huh? You can't. I start to tear a page. Slowly. No! No! <laughs> As you tear the page out, um, it you look down and it happens to have just webbing on the uh, page. Like, that's just all that's written on it. Hmm. I mean, I guess we need another. No, 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 please, please, please. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah? I have an idea. All right, what? tell us. Just, just take me back, check, check me back into the library, and then I'll tell you. Nope. Yeah, you tell us first, and we take you back. No, 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 please, 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 just trust me, trust, just trust me. Nope. We can't trust anyone. No one's telling us anything. Apparently, we we just had two people who apparently were mortal enemies who just were chatting. Fine. I don't really understand what's going on. I just want to go home. Then you just you just gotta find a place to, to fall asleep. Just a comfortable place to just curl up and 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 take a nap. That's all you got. That's all you gotta do. Bus station. Bus station? You can sleep in a bus station? I mean, I mean, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not insulting you. Please don't hurt me. Please don't. No, no. Um, sure. Just please check me in first. I don't, I don't want to be left at a bus station. Um. You want to do it? What do you want to do, Alex? Do we even know where? Like, can we even find the li a library? Or the library? I don't. I assume. I don't know if the the two we've been to were actually the same one. I'm assuming they are, but. Um. I mean, yeah, yeah. You you definitely got the sense that they were the same library. They were just two different doors to the same right. uh, space. So. All right, we can find a door that looks like it belongs to a library. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Just um. Just, just gotta keep looking, and you'll, you'll find one. I promise. Please don't hurt me. All right. Let's go. 
Okay, so, um, you guys climbing down from the rooftops, or? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, you do so, and after, you know, you, you do have to walk around for a little while, um, but you do eventually find another pair of, um, large mahogany doors, again, with the same kind of iconography in it, and in the center, um, of this one, there is a giant snake. Okay. Snake man? I am going to open the door. And you are greeted by the librarian. Oh, well, welcome back. Any chance we can sleep here, possibly? Nope. And I say catch, toss her the book, and run away. <laughs> she catches the book and <laughs> watches as you run away and looks at um, Jurgen. Sleep? Why Why sleep when you can read more? Yeah, I'll see you later, Miss Librarian. <laughs> I'll have to leave, too. Right, well, goodbye, dearies. And the door just kind of shuts. I wasn't about that. I wasn't about to have the book start yelling and hurt okay. it on my face. Yeah! Right. <laughs> um, I've seen Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, there's a there was a park Let's where we park. came in. Yeah, you were home. Came in. You were homeless. Yeah, you sleep in the park. Not homeless yet. Well, let's uh, go to the park. We have not been there. Okay. All right. If we, yeah, we'll try and find our way back to the park. Okay. Um. Yeah, you're able to make it back to the park. Uh, it's not an issue. Um, uh, as you go Find out... Find a secluded corner. And... Yeah, you, you still see the, the blue and red kind of everywhere, but you, you can find, like, um, there's a nice little park bench, and there's some, some fluffy bushes nearby, or a tree. Um, well, it's a nice, cool, crisp night. <sighs> Good night. Do we just both try and go to sleep? Yeah, that's what I'll do. All right. Sure. I rest my head. <laughs> you gonna let your exhaustion overtake you? Yeah, let's do it. Sure. Okay. As you do so, um, kind of fidget and just doesn't seem to want to come. Sleep just doesn't want to seem to come to you. And eventually, um, Alex, you open your eyes and you are leaning up against a uh, bench in a back alleyway. And you can hear footsteps <laughs> coming at you. Um, and uh, Jürgen, you begin to feel the cool um, <laughs> scratchiness of like a bad carpet. Hell. And you both realize that you've made it your way back to the city slumbering. Oh. Alex? Well, that was easier than I expected. I think. I'm going to wake up like it was a bad dream. <laughs> I and think I forgot is. something important. I don't remember what it is. Though. And we're going to close with <laughs> hungers closing in on Alex. And the police officer standing above Jurgen. <laughs> oh no. Yay. Huh. I thought you weren't supposed. To... I was all set for bad things to happen. I didn't think you were <laughs> supposed to fall asleep there. I mean, you got muggers that are on top of you, so. Well, I mean, just. I didn't think you escaped the city that way. Eh. Play with it a little bit. Sure. I was just expecting. Yeah. I didn't know what I was expecting. Yeah, I was. I was kind of going more for the whole. If you collapse from exhaustion, it's worse than mm. voluntarily going to sleep. Was kind of what I was trying to go for. Um, yeah, I mean, it was a meta thing. Like, yeah, I didn't. My character had no idea. I was like, whatever. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. So. How can it get any worse? How can it get any worse than the actual Spider-Man? <laughs> 
I was hoping you guys were gonna get the uh, librarian upset. No, thank you. In addition to bookworms, W O R M, I had prepped bookworms, W Y R M. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that sounds much worse. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Oh, all right. I really like the world of Don't Rest Your Head. Yeah. I think it's neat. Yep. I don't... Unfortunately, the, the rules don't really have enough to, like, do a campaign of them. Yeah, it does way better. Like, it's not time. weighty enough. Like, I, I, maybe I'd play Fate in that universe. That could be cool. Yeah. I mean, so it does have, like, a quote-unquote leveling up system with, like, scars, but mm. it's... Still kind of Scars. weak. Yeah, but, and I mean, I saw uh, when I was looking through some stuff in preparation, the little that I did, um, I saw people talking about, like, you know, it doesn't have any way to track, like, money or stuff like that. So, which, I mean, we kind of ran into. It's like. Right. Yeah, I mean, I was just going with improv. It's like, yeah, I do this. I honestly, I feel like this game is a lot better when you do so. Like, I'll form, like, kind of major plot points that I eventually want to hit, but then nothing else. Yeah. And I feel like this game is a lot better when you play freeform. Um, yeah, that's what I was yeah. like trying to do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, less, like, just try less, um, yeah, trying to figure out what, how to use, like, how to what are the rules for doing this? And it's just like, I want to do this. Yeah. You do it. <laughs> I like, I do like playing with the, um, in the, the, the rules of physics, I guess, for lack of a better term for it. But I do, I don't like to do it in one session, right? Like, like, yeah. then it just feels inconsistent and players don't know what the hell to do. But the next time I will all run the one shot, the universe will behave slightly different than it did the last time. Mm -hmm. uh, type deal. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Yeah. So you said uh, you practiced uh, with another group yesterday. Yes. Uh, no, no, on Friday. Oh, how did that? How did that go compared to this? It went well. I, I. It, what it did they do? They consistently stayed in the library and kept having problems in the library. <laughs> they didn't actually get to the point of dealing with um, any of the officers, or I mean, they they saw them and then kind of ran from them into the library. Um, but they never got past the Gryffindor, um, because they oh, just wow. stayed in the library. Um, oh, now I get it. Gryffindor. Uh-huh. And then the raven and the, the snake. No. You, oh, I didn't get, oh, I didn't get any of the I didn't door stuff. Either. I'm just like, yeah, yeah. After he said Gryffindor was knowledge, I was like, sure, I buy it. And then he was like, yeah, sure, you use that as a library. And ravens are knowledgeable, too. That would be on a door. Snake, I'm not really tracking it anymore, but I don't really... Wisdom? No. Snakes are yeah, wise. Sure. Um, <laughs> no, it was just starting off as a Gryffindor. Ah, I gotcha. <laughs> one, one of the first times I, I um, introduced, uh, I can't remember who I was playing with, but it was one of my early games in this. I had, um, they were being attacked by these, like, black, like, slip balls that were, like, huffling at them and puffing at them. Uh... And then they're, like, as they fought them off, they were running away, and this darkness was slithering in at them. And it yeah. wasn't... Yeah, like the I the the universe can be kind of punny, which I don't know. I think can I may sometimes also the puns. Yeah, sometimes it can detract. I think if you were really going for uh, horror, but um, the um the uh, module that is out for the game, I contemplating do doing, but it is because this game I found it's either super punny and kind of like lighthearted dark. Or it gets yeah. super intense, dark, like uncomfortably so, and I just don't know how much I'd enjoy that. Cause like, so the module that it has called the Bad Man, it has a lot of um, child molestation overtones to it. Mm. Like you're playing like children, and like there's the Bad Man, and you feel like you all like it's it. It does its job. It is insanely creepy and disturbing, but again down paths i like that's kind of like the two um extremes i've experienced this game in and i don't experience it much in between so i mm. choose to run it more lighthearted because i like lighthearted yeah quote, unquote, horror. <laughs> so 
Oh, all right, cool. Uh, I guess we'll uh, cut it off here. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys uh, soon. Chene? All right, bye. See you.